Hello, I'm Jackie from Convera Pottery and I teach and make ceramics here in the west of Ireland. I'm delighted that the Crafts Council of Ireland have asked me to demonstrate uh, in this short video some techniques for you to make some lovely Valentine's clay products. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make some little bowls, some hanging decorations and some smaller pieces that you can use to make your own Valentine's cards. Today I'm going to be using this product. It's white air dry clay or cold porcelain. Um, you can get it in kilo, half kilo bags from school supply stores, news agents or art supply shops. It's also readily available online. So let's get started. So you need a cotton tea towel to roll your clay on that so it doesn't stick to the surface un underneath. When you open your clay it's in this packet um, and you just tear off a little bit to use now for some decorations. This clay can be kept for months if it's really well wrapped in an airtight container so you just wrap it up and keep it well sealed and that can be used some other time. So to prepare our clay I'm just going to kind of squash it into a usable pancake of clay and I'm just going to use the heel of my hand to flatten it as I turn it in my other hand. So we're just going to try and wake up the clay and make it into like this little pancake of clay. You'll feel it in your hands going from a really cool product to a, a warmer consistency. Then you place it on your cotton tea towel and you use a wooden rolling pin. If you don't have a wooden rolling pin to hand, this insert from a cling film or um, kitchen roll will do because it's quite solid and it's, it's easy to roll the clay. But a wooden rolling pin is better. So just roll it ever so carefully and turn the pancake of clay with after every roll. So I'm just turning my pancake of clay and I'm rolling every which way as well with my wooden rolling pin. If I rolled it as I would pastry, I would get ridges. But uh, we need a nice flat slab of clay to make our Valentine hearts. So I'm just turning and rolling. So as you can see, the small pancake of clay is spreading itself into this lovely slab of clay. Um, don't get too thin with this because um, they may tear. Next thing I'm going to do is if you just have a look around your house for some textured fabric. I have some bits of lace here, some doilies or you know some bits of clothing that has texture. I'm going to use this one. This is one of my favourite ones. It's just an old doily from the set for the center of a table but it actually leaves a really lovely mark on your clay so the textured side faces down onto your slab of clay and again you come back with your rolling pin and pressing gently and rolling it diagonally and up and down that's just so that the texture gets onto the clay so are you ready for the big reveal this is uh, the magic part. This is the part I love. So this um, little textured piece of fabric is giving this wonderful uh, pattern onto the clay. I have a selection of heart cutters here. They're biscuit cutters. If you don't have these available, you simply cut out a heart shape from uh, some newspaper and you can place that down and use a craft knife to cut around it but because I have these ready, readily available I'm just going to show you how to use it with this. So use your cookie cutter to work your way around the slab which would which part would make a really nice heart. So I'm going to use both my hands to press and give it a jiggle so when I pull this back it's cut this lovely heart shape. Whoops! So you can see it's really really floppy. These ones that I've made earlier are quite hard now, they've hardened. 
hence the air dry clay. But this one's quite floppy and it has these little raggy edges around it. So you simply get your dry finger and rub around the edge just to soften that off. So there's your heart. If you wanted to make it into something to hang, like a hanging decoration, I keep these little plastic straws and I use them again and again. Uh, it's just a little plastic straw that um, you come away from the edge, press it onto your clay and twirl it as you press in to meet the table. And then twirl it as you take it away. It removes a little plug of clay that, um, that now leaves a nice clean hole there for you to add your ribbon later on. So from this slab of clay I can make many of these hearts. I can move around and use my smaller cutter to make smaller ones for cards. Or I can freehand cut something with a craft knife. You know, maybe I might just cut around this little butterfly with the craft knife or, or a paring knife from the kitchen drawer works just as well. And again, when you use something sharp like the cookie cutter or the knife, it leaves these little raggy edges around the edge, but a dry finger will just press those down nicely. These are dried hearts. These are ready. Um, I've painted these, but they're made in exactly the same way as the ones I've just showed you. I just use different size biscuit cutters. Um, and an interesting thing you may want to add is maybe text, maybe somebody's name. I picked these uh, alphabet up in a craft store. They're used for generally for inking, but because it's texture, it works really well on clay. So if I just press, give it a jiggle. So you could put somebody's name or maybe write your own message on a heart or on a piece of clay like this. This one is dry and it's ready to be stuck to a card. If you don't have access to these little um, alphabet stampers, you can always use um, a biro and some um, plastic packaging. So this kind of thick packaging, I've cut out a little square of this. So I'll just show you how you can use this to write onto your clay. So I just leave my little square of plastic onto my freshly made clay and I'm writing a word or a name. This is just so that the biro doesn't catch in the clay. So I'm digging in quite heavily but that leaves a lovely soft indentation on your clay. Just one other thing, this little bead at the end, they're quite nice to make, just a leftover little bit of clay. I'm really going to squish it in together and roll it around in my hand. And again, I'm just taking this, it's, this is a tiny straw. Um, I'm just going to twirl it as I push it in and out the other end. Flatten that piece and twirl it in this end and out. And just give it a jiggle so that you have a bead. Again, it's really soft. It needs to be left to dry. And there you go. So this time I'm going to show you how to make one of these little dishes. I'm using this cookie cutter and I'm going to place it on the clay again like last time and it's cut out the shape of a heart. And again I'm just going to press down those edges to make it clean and get a bowl. These plastic bowls are really good. They have a, a flat bottom but they ha have a nice curve and to stop my clay sticking to it I'm using corn flour. A little shake of corn flour creates a barrier inside the bowl so when I press in my bowl it is taking the shape of the bowl. Now that will take a couple of days to dry. 
because it's inside something um it's it's called air dry clay so it does need a lot of air to dry so that will take a couple of days to dry but when it does it will be hard and you'll be able to color it the air dry clay can dry your your new pieces can dry on a flat surface like a table or i use a cake rack that's just so that the air can circulate and they may dry faster you can also put it in the oven at 150 degrees so your domestic oven at 150 degrees for about half an hour that just speeds up the drying process so now we move on to decorating with paint so you're not going to need your tea towel anymore so we remove that you can put down some newspapers or um, just use some paints that are washable i've got a dish here that i'm going to put some paint into you can use watercolours, chalk pastels, you can even use food colouring, so anything really that you have lying around, the clay will take, take it beautifully. So just I just have some red and some gold here. You're also going to need a paintbrush and some water and a bigger bowl of water with a washing up sponge. So if I just show you this bowl. Once it's dry, you may notice that it has some um, edges on it and if you want to soften those edges, you can use an emery board or some soft sandpaper to just take those edges away. So a little bit of light sanding. Um, try not to breathe in the, the dust. Put sort of some light sanding around the edges and then you're ready to paint. So I'm wetting my brush. These are, I think they're acrylics and poster paints that I'm using, so these will go on nicely, but I do need to add a little bit of water. So on this flower here, I'm just going to add some red, and because there's texture there, it will take the paint nicely. Maybe some gold over here. Now you can just leave it like that, you can leave the paint on as thickly as you like, but what I like to do I then get my washing up sponge, wring it out and just sponge off the top layer of the paint. So as you can see, the clay takes the paint really nicely. It goes into all the textures that you put on with your lace or your stamps and it just takes off the really thick layer. So I can do it again. Okay, so you can keep building up your layers of paint or just leave it like that with this delicate colour. With text, you can do exactly the same thing because it will take the texture, the texture will take the colour beautifully. So I'm just going to dab in my paint bring out my sponge and move it over the surface of the clay so that the text can take the paint. Of course you don't need to paint your ceramics. Once it's hardened, it hardens to this lovely white porcelain effect. Just use your imagination to add some string, some ribbon, or if you've made some beads, they might be quite a nice addition. So. Um, Again, play around with where you put the hole if you are going to do a hanging heart. Uh, I'm just going to add some just plain string to this one. You could make a mobile, you could make uh, a series of these little hearts with people's names on. So with current restrictions, we won't be able to be with all of our loved ones this Valentine's Day. So what better way of sending love to them than by your own handmade ceramics. So here I've made some text and some little hearts painted and stuck on with just household glue. If you're going to send this in the post, just remember to put in a padded envelope or put a little layer of bubble wrap over it. So you can send your sentiments through on post this year. Please do share all of your wonderful creations. I'd love to see your little bowls and your Valentine's ideas. Um, you can share them with DCCI on their Instagram page or Twitter. You can also send them to me. I'd love to see them. Um, I'm Kinvara Pottery on Facebook and Jack Ceramics. That's J-A-Q Ceramics on Instagram. 
and I just want to thank the DCCI and the Government's Get Well campaign for making this possible today. Thank you.